Good day everyone. To discuss Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 4, Week 1, I am Mom Karen Joy El Chico Baina, Grade 8 Mathematics teacher. Don't forget to like, share, and hit the subscribe button and notification bell for updates about our latest videos. So, come on, let's learn Our topic for today is all about theorems on triangle inequality with the following objectives. Identify different theorems in triangle inequalities. Apply theorem in triangle inequalities. And prove inequalities in a triangle. But before we proceed to our discussion, let's have first an activity which is entitled Number Letter Game. You are going to use the arrangement in the alphabet to know the answer from the given question. Letter A as number one and so on. Example, what word are we going to have using the numbers 13, 1, 20, and 8? Very good, that is correct, math. Since you are ready, let's have question number one. What are the different kinds of triangle according to side and shape? To give you clues, here are the numbers. What word do you think are we going to have with these numbers using the arrangement of letters in the alphabet? Correct, that is an iskaline triangle. An iskaline triangle is a triangle with no equal sides. Another, what word are we going to have? Very good, that is an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle is a triangle with two equal sides. And last one, what word are we going to have? Very good, that is an equilateral triangle with all sides are equal. Since we are done with triangles according to side, let us proceed to triangles according to angle with these following clues. What word are we going to have with these clues? Correct, that is acute triangle. What about this? Very good again, that is a right triangle. And lastly, what word do you think? Yes, that is obtuse uh, triangle. Since you know already the answer, in number one question, let's proceed to number two. Can three equal side lengths form a triangle? Why and why not? The clue for your answer is? And the correct answer is yes. It is called equilateral triangle. What is your score? Great job. Let us now proceed to the discussion on theorems on triangle inequalities. There are different kinds of inequalities in triangle theorem. First, the triangle inequality theorem, angle side inequality theorem, side angle inequality theorem, the exterior angle inequality theorem, and the hinge theorem. Let us discuss them one by one. First, the triangle inequality theorem. It states that the sum of any two sides of a triangle must be greater than the measure of the third side with this figure. Note that this rule must satisfy all three conditions of the sides. Let us have an example for this theorem. Example number one. Do you think we can form a triangle with this given measurement such as 6, 7, and 8? Let's see using triangle inequality theorem. Is 6 plus 7 greater than 8? Yes, you are right. What about 6 plus 8? Is it greater than 7? Yes, correct. That is a yes. And last, is 7 plus 8 greater than 6? Very good, class. It's a yes. Since all possible cases are true, therefore, sides with this measure can form a triangle. What kind of triangle can be formed with its sides? Yes, that is an iskaline triangle. Another example for triangle inequality theorem. Can we form a triangle with these sides? 11, 1, and 9. 
Let's see again using triangle inequality theorem. Is 11 plus 1 greater than 9? Yes. What about 11 plus 9? Is it greater than 1? Yes. What about 11 plus 9? Is it greater than 11? No. Since not all cases are true, therefore, sides with this measure cannot form a triangle. Moving on to our next theorem, angle side inequality theorem. It states that in a triangle, if one angle is larger than the other angles, the side opposite the larger angle is the longest side. Let's have an example. Given the figure with measures of each angle, 52 degrees, 38 degrees, and 90 degrees respectively, which side do you think has the longest measure? According to angle side inequality theorem, your longest side will always be the opposite of your largest angle. And the largest angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, your longest side is side IJ, since its opposite angle is the largest. Moving on to our next theorem, side angle inequality theorem. It states that if one side of a triangle is longer than the other side, then the angle opposite the longer side has a greater measure than the angle opposite the shorter side. To make it simpler, here is the figure. The figure shows angle M is the largest angle and the opposite side, SE, is the longest side. Let's have an example for this. Given the figure of the triangle at the right with measures of each side, 8 centimeters, 12.5 centimeters, and 11.3 centimeters, which angle do you think has the largest measure? Given the measurements, we know that the longest side is side WF with a measurement of 12.5 centimeters. Therefore, opposite that one is angle H. And that angle H is the largest measure. Let us now proceed to another theorem, the exterior angle inequality theorem. It states that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two opposite interior angles. Given this figure, we know that the measurement of angle 1 plus the measurement of angle 2 is equal to the measurement of angle Three. Let's have an example. With this given triangle, the figures show a triangle with two given angles and the exterior angle non-adjacent to the two angle is angle one. And that is what we call exterior angle. Therefore, by adding the angles, we can have the solution of the interior angles which are 67 degrees plus 72 degrees and that will lead us to our angle one equal to 139 degrees therefore the measurement of your angle one is equal to 139 degrees that is according to exterior angle inequality theorem another example given the figure below what is the measure of the unknown angle? As you may see, the one missing this time is not the exterior angle, rather the interior angle. What are we going to do? Applying the exterior angle theorem, we understand that 42 degrees plus y degrees is equal to 75 degrees. Solving for the unknown measure of the angle, we have 42 degrees plus y degrees is equal to 75 degrees. For us to get the interior angle which is missing, we just simply need to subtract the exterior angle 75 degrees by one of your interior angles, which is 42 degrees. Therefore, the answer that you will be getting is 33 degrees. Y degrees is equal to 33 degrees. Moving on to our another theorem. This will be the last theorem, and that is Hinge Theorem. It states that if two sides of two triangles are congruent and the included angle is different, then the angle that 
is larger is opposite your longer side. Let's have some given figure. Given these two triangles which are congruent since it has the measurement of the sides which are equal and the included angle is different, the angle that is larger will always be the opposite of your longer side. For some example, with these two given figures, what do you think is the longer side? According to the Hinge theorem, the longer side is the opposite of the larger angle. And the larger angle is 82 degrees. Therefore, your answer is the opposite of it. And that is side DF. Do you get that? Very good. Another example. What about this two given figure? Which among them do you think has the longer side? According again to the rule of the theorem of hinge that is always opposite the larger angle. Therefore, your answer is side RT. Since the longer side is opposite the larger angle. Do you get our topic for today? Let's see. Let's have an activity. This is practice, so let's do this. Determine if the three numbers can be the measures of the side of a triangle. If the numbers are possible, identify what kind of triangle can be formed according to its sides. Number one question. Can we form a triangle with the measurements of 3, 5, and 8? What is your answer? That's correct. The answer is no. What about the second question? The given are 5, 5, and 5. What is your answer? Yes, we can form a triangle. And what kind of triangle is that? Yes, that is correct. Equilateral triangle. Another given, 9, 9, and 1. What is your answer? The answer is Yes, again. And what kind of triangle are we going to form? Very good, class. That is an isosceles triangle. What about number 16, 11, and 26? Can we form a triangle? Yes. And the answer for what kind of triangle are we going to form is an escaline triangle. Last question for this practice. Are we going to form a triangle with the measurements of 1, 2, and 5? What is your answer? Yes, you're right. The correct answer is no. What is your score now? Wow, that's great. Let's have another practice. Name the shortest side and the longest side of the following triangles. We have triangle TRY and triangle APT. In number one, the triangle TRY longest side will be opposite your largest angle. And your largest angle here is angle Y. Opposite angle Y is side RT. Therefore, your longest side is side RT. What about your shortest, shortest side? Yes, that is opposite angle T. Therefore, your answer is side RY. Let's proceed to number two. What is your longest side given triangle APT? Okay. Opposite your largest angle, which is 115 degrees, is side AT. Very good, class. Last one. What will be your shortest side? Your shortest side will be opposite your smallest angle. And your smallest angle is? Very good again. That is 30 degrees. Therefore, your answer is segment AP. Very good, class. What's your score now? Wow, very good, class. I'm proud of you. Another practice. This will be the last practice. Find the measure of each angle indicated. 
Let's answer first the first figure. What's missing? The one missing is angle U. And angle U is an interior angle of the triangle. How are we going to find the answer? Just simply subtract the exterior angle and one of your interior angle. Therefore, 120 degrees minus 50 degrees is equal to 70 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of your angle U is 70 degrees. Last one. What is missing? The one missing is the measurement of your angle R. And your angle R is the exterior angle. So therefore, what we are going to do? So we are going to add the interior angles. 25 degrees plus 80 degrees is equal to 105 degrees. Therefore, the measurement of your angle R is equal to 105. Do you get our topic for today, class? Good job. What's your score? Wow. Thank you for listening. Before we finally end the generalization, there are different kinds of inequalities in triangle theorem. The triangle inequality theorem, angle side inequality theorem, side angle inequality theorem, the exterior angle inequality theorem, and the hinge theorem. Thank you, class, for listening. This has been your teacher. Ma'am Karen Joel Chikobaina, grade 8 mathematics teacher. Thank you. Once again, thank you for watching. This has been your teacher, Ma'am Karen Joel Chikobaina, grade 8 mathematics teacher. For more updates, just visit Felixians TV. God bless and good day, everyone. Bye.